Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a few things going on in this video today. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna go a little bit shopping. We are going to do a little bit of styling and I'm also gonna share some gift ideas that I have for Valentine's Day coming up. I think I will start with the gift ideas, kind of go over just a few gifts that I think are just really lovely gifts to receive. Now, I kept it really, really simple because Zach and I actually don't do gifts. We generally just do a little dinner at home. It's just been a tradition that we've had for a really long time, but I love to set a tablescape and just enjoy each other, make a little, you know, romantic playlist, light some candles, that whole thing. But I did want to put together a like a cute little gift to show you in case you are someone who does gifts or you want to gift something to someone. I have like a gift that could be done a few different ways. First, I want to start with a gift bag. Basket. I think a gift basket is one of the most special gifts to receive because you get to fill it with all different items that you think someone might love. You can swap out so many different things, do their favorite chocolates, their favorite, maybe they're not into wine or you know, whatever the case. Maybe they like bourbon or maybe they just like a mocktail. You can get a little mixer in there and different things like that. So I'm gonna show you what I put in this little gift basket. I think gifting some new barware drinkware is just such a lovely gift. If you've been here for a while, you know that I have slowly been curating my barware and my drinkware. I just love having beautiful glasses to serve our drinks in. And even if it's water, I love a beautiful glass. These coupes I've already had, but I pulled them out for this video. These are from Crate and Barrel. I do have some on my Amazon storefront that are pretty much identical, and I just think that these are so, so beautiful and just such a lovely gift to receive. Now, I would gift something along with them like a wine. So I have this wine right here, obviously 21 plus. But if someone doesn't drink or maybe they prefer bourbon, you could do rocks glasses with a bottle of bourbon or maybe they don't drink alcohol. There are some really good like lemonades and mixers at uh, World Market. I've seen some at Home Goods. Lots of different options there, but I think doing like a little drink kind of session that you could have that evening for dinner is such a beautiful gift to receive. I mean, at least I think so, something I would love to receive. Fresh flowers, I feel like I know it's cliche, but I love to receive flowers. I love flowers so much. It's part of my grocery shopping routine. I love to bring home fresh flowers for us to enjoy. If you are creating a basket for someone who maybe isn't more of the flower person, you you could always do, you know, fresh herbs or a little plant or different things like that just to kind of add in a little bit of that life element to the basket. But fresh flowers on Valentine's Day is just so cute. Next in my basket, I have a bottle of perfume, which perfume to me is just such a beautiful gift. I love scent. I love scent for my home. I love scent on my person. I just think scent is just such a beautiful way to be transported back to a memory. And I can smell something and immediately go back to the very first time I smelled that scent to, you know, walking on cobblestones, you know, in Europe, whether I smell someone's cologne or perfume or walking into my friend's house and then re-smelling that scent out in the world and being taken back to the evening in their house for the very first time. I just think scent is such a special, gift to receive. And in my hand here, I have a bottle of MFK Gentle Fluidity that was gifted to me from fragrance.com. This video is also kindly sponsored by fragrance.com. Now, if you don't know, fragrance.com is a website that sells all kinds of perfumes. I mean, from high end, low end, they have it all. I was on there looking and looking for so long. They have women's, they have men's, they just have a lot of perfume. They have some of my favorites, some that I've never even heard of, but they sell authentic authentic perfume at a discounted price. And I also have a discount code for you guys. So if you're interested in getting someone a bottle of perfume, maybe yourself for Valentine's Day, you can save 30% off by using code Brandy up until Valentine's Day, which is amazing, especially when you're talking about nice, nice perfumes like MFK. I also have the MFK 
uh, Baccarat Rouge 540, which is my favorite perfume to wear out. This one is so beautiful. It's like a little bit clean, but also just like kind of sexy, but also like it has like vanilla. Oh, it's just so elegant. Now, as I mentioned, Zach and I don't necessarily do gifts for each other. It's always been our tradition to make dinner at home. So we always make spaghetti. I know that that sounds so silly, but we've done it since the very first year we were together. So we just kind of kept that tradition going and I love it. I love to get dressed up, spray some perfume and just light some candles, enjoy the evening and just enjoy each other. I feel like I prefer that over going out, but Zach, if you're watching this, perfume's always a good idea. <laughs> Next in my little basket, I have chocolates. I am a chocolate girl and these are some of my favorites. I did get an assorted pack because there's some in here that I haven't tried, but I would put in your, whoever you're giving a little basket to, whatever their favorite chocolates or candies are. I think that that's just such a special way to let them know you're listening. You know what their favorite treat is. Chocolates also pairs really well with wine if you go with wine to add to the basket. So chocolates are always a good idea for me. And then the last thing I have in my basket in particular are some macarons. Now I, someone, I, I shared this over on Instagram, by the way, if you're not following on Instagram, highly recommend go follow over there. I share in real time. I share lots of styling, all kinds of things. And I've been super active over there almost every single day posting reels, but someone did tell me these aren't the, the most flavorful or like they're not the best. So we'll, we'll try these out, get them a nice little treat as well or a couple treats and put it in the basket it's something sweet you could do something savory if they're not a sweet person but I just love adding a little treat in a basket it just I don't know it's a sweet little touch and then for the last gift this is another luxury type gift that I would always love to receive but I specifically picked this Le Labo candle because you can customize it mine has my birthday on here that we got last year when we went and just had this candle labeled on my birthday and you could always do you know Valentine's or my love or whatever you could put whatever you want on here and or a little nickname but you can personalize it you can do it online you can go into their store and do it but I just think that this is just such another little sweet gift and again it's that scent that you can light in your house when you have guests over or if you do like us a little dinner at home on Valentine's Day and just create that memory with scent. Those are the gift ideas that I have. I told you it was gonna be super simple, but I love simple and I love to just get a nice gift for someone that is just special and you know, something that they're gonna really love and enjoy and feel spoiled by. So we're gonna go shopping for a little bit. I wanna pick up a couple new things for our little tablescape this year and just to help it feel a little bit more romantic, a little bit more special. I actually went shopping yesterday, so I'm gonna put in that footage to right now. When we come back, Back, I am going to put together a little tablescape for Valentine's Day. I came to look for a Valentine's Day like table setting decor, but I found this original oil painting there. It's a bit bright, but really pretty. And then this piece up here I thought was really pretty as well. Now, as I've mentioned in other videos, our thrift store prices are not the best, but Okay, also this chest, 150 for the secretary, not chest, sorry, secretary desk. Really pretty. It's like in the deep, deep walnut color. Very beautiful. And then this upright chest. Look at this detail. I'm missing a knob, but this detail is so beautiful. And when you open it up, there's more drawers inside. This one is 140 so unique I want those shades but not the lamps look at those shades on my new marble lamps wouldn't that be pretty honestly if they were cheap and wait a minute five dollars if these are five dollars that's worth it for the shade hold on I would just redonate the maze are these five dollars five dollars there's no way there is no way five dollars okay this oil painting of paris is really pretty too with that little pup fifteen dollars for him this one's 60 and then these are beautiful too 
Okay, they do have etched glassware. These ones are not exactly what I'm looking for, but these ones are pretty dang close. I just don't know if I love the stem. But for Valentine's Day, these are so precious. Now it says they're $4, six of eight. So I don't know if that's $4 each or for the whole set. I'm assuming each. Aren't those beautiful? They also come in this one. I just don't know if I love the stem. It's, it's like the closest thing I have found to what I like, except for the stem. <laughs> But I don't, I don't know. I don't, maybe I don't hate the stem. What do you think? For Valentine's Day, aren't those romantic? I'm really sad I came back for some some stainless wear and they're gone. But they do have these that look kind of pretty. How much are these? I'm not sure. Oh, I'm so sad. I thought those would have been perfect perfect for what I was doing. Yeah, I don't see them. I'm going to take a look around and see if they just got moved. Because they could have just got moved, but I don't know. I'm not seeing them. There was quite a few of them. Dang it. I was totally okay with leaving them behind, but then when I found the glassware, I thought, oh my, I need them. Okay, bummer. I'm going to look. I'm just hoping they got moved. Look at this tiny little lamp. Oh, this would be so cute in a kitchen. It's tiny. I do not need it though, but it sure is sweet. This mirror is so cute. $45 for like a bathroom, a tiny little bathroom. I love that. I am so happy right now. They just got moved. They are still here. They're these little jiggers. I don't know if it's per one that they're $13.50. That's why I didn't buy them last time, but maybe I'll just get two. <laughs> but I love them so much. And I think next to the delicate, oh, these are gonna look so pretty. And I have a future plan for these as well. Okay, I'm at Home Goods now. I like these. And then also this bowl for a catch-all for the pantry project I'm working on. They have a little console table in there. I came here for some Valentine's Day, but I'm also looking for a bowl. So, and then of course, you know, if I find anything else like this vase for $19.99, this is so pretty. I really like that. But these are really cute. I like how they mixed the marbles. Very pretty. Okay, love this floor lamp. Look at how beautiful. $89.99. I think this would be pretty by a bedside. That's gorgeous. I like that. I really like that. This desk is very, very cute. Look at that. I don't see a price. Let me look. Oh, $129.99. That's really, really sweet. This is their Valentine's Day section. These are kind of cute. And then to be honest, the only other thing I like is this little read this cute. So what I prefer to do is come over here and look at other little options to put in like a basket for Valentine's Day instead of going for like your typical Valentine's Day things, like kind of making it my own, but like in a very cute and romantic way. So I kind of like these. Those are really pretty. Another really sweet thing you can add into like a little Valentine's Day basket is some tea. Very, very cute. Or even like a um, self-care basket if you wanted to do that for like a friend or something. Such a good little idea to add. That light comes in black as well. There's one over here and there's one back there. But I really, really like this. This one looks like it's, you know, a little broken, but there's another one. It's really, really cute. We are here to look for Valentine's Day things, but this rug, $3.99 for a nine by 12. I love like an understated print like this, where it has a like, color, but it's still muted. So pretty. This lamp is so cute too. $49.99 Tommy Bahama. 
Very, very cute. Loving the rattan lately. And this, I don't know what you would do with this, but this is cool. $79.99, big old puff, maybe for by the pool. That's cute. I kind of like that. These beads for spring decor are cute too. $29.99. They have a lot of spring stuff right now. Really, really cute. Oh, look at these ones. Decor beads. These are... Let's see. $24.99 as well. They're, kind of, they're long too. Oh my gosh, look at this chain link too. <laughs> let's see. $34.99. That wood chain link. Very cool. It's not the metal part. It's just the wood chain. Little marble bunny little charcuterie cheese board tray not always love the bunnies but like a little appetizer plate's kind of cute if you like bunnies now is the time to go to home goods because they have lots of little bunnies everywhere so check them out there is some cute things that i feel like are kind of sweet like this little egg with the bunny ears and these moss bunnies and that brass bunny. Okay, this one I love. He's such a little junky. Look at him. Oh my gosh, this one's so cute. How much is this? $12.99. Okay, this looks like the chocolate bunny that you get, you know, when you were a kid. And then this wood carrot, kind of like that. This is not what I'm here for. Okay. Just gonna give you a quick little glimpse. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna share for like Easter, $9.99, these little carrots. How cute. Those are really cute. Before I take apart my desk and turn it into a romantic table setting for two, I'm gonna show you what I got at the thrift store and also I'm gonna share a collage that I made with some Valentine's Day items because I felt like I just didn't see anything out shopping at Home Goods or really anywhere that I really loved. And I've mentioned this before, but that's the main reason why I like to shop online because I'm so specific with what I'm looking for that I kinda have to look for it. So I'm gonna go over that with you but first I'm gonna show you the things that I got at the thrift store and I am so excited I got these etched drinking coops or etched coops look at these they are so beautiful when I was at the thrift store I wasn't totally sold on the stem I I'm telling you I'm extremely picky I want every detail to be perfect but I took a chance on them because I got eight glasses for four dollars and I thought you know what that is worth taking a chance on and I getting them home I love them. I think that they are so beautiful. I cannot wait to do a little table setting with these. Even just on the raw wood, oh my gosh, so pretty. And then in a previous shop with me, I showed these jiggers that have this like shield monogram on them. And I kept thinking about them and I thought the juxtaposition between the etched glassware and then these jiggers was just perfect. A, like a play on masculine and feminine and then getting them home, seeing them together, I was like, oh my gosh, it's like a dream combination for me. So that is what I got. I also got these lampshades behind here, but that's has nothing to do with Valentine's Day or really the video, uh, this video. But before we do the little table setting, I want to go over this little Valentine's Day collage with you. In case you're wanting to get some decor items for Valentine's Day, I thought, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about this. The ceramic little serving bowl, the dish, a couple of the, these little hearts that you could put on a tree or even on your table setting. I also have a heart cutting board on here and a heart mug and these little other heart little um, rattan kind of like woven wrapped hearts that you could put on a tablescape all of those are from the white company but everything else that I found is from Amazon I have a couple of napkin options now on the collage I have these scalloped edge napkins which are linen and like a white thread outline I just thought that these were really romantic and sweet so I included those in there but I also have have these other napkins are not on the collage but 
They are on my like to know it that I linked with the collage. And they are these napkins with this, what do you call that edging? Like a lace edging. I love these. I also think that these are beautiful for the springtime, even summer. These are gorgeous. I really, really, really love those. E Easter too, they would be a really pretty napkin for Easter. Also on Amazon, I did find these, I think these are like a grapevine that were turned into these little hearts, which I thought would be really pretty to just place on a table setting. You could put it right on the top of them or right on top of your table setting. Very cute. I love these. Oh, these ones are sold out, but I do see some other options that I will link as well because the ones that are in the collage are sold out already. <laughs> so, but like I said, there's some other options, so I will be sure to link those. Also on this collage, and I shared this in my last Amazon Shop With Me video, are these glass, this glassware that has like a scalloped edge that almost looks like a flower. Again, something I think is just very, very sweet for Valentine's Day. It's just something you can kind of play on that like more sweet vibe. So I love these. They also come in a stemmed wine glass. I think I prefer the stemless wine glass. You could also use them as a water glass. I thought that these were so, so cute. I found a ton of wooden spoons, whether it was like a wooden spatula that was really long or just like a wooden spoon that you could stir your coffee with or use on a charcuterie board, you know, whatever the case. I think that these are adorable and I do actually want to get these for my collection. I don't like too cheesy decor, but sometimes it's sweet to have a little kiss of it in your space. I kind of like these. These would be something that I would absolutely get because I can tuck them away easily and I don't have to like overdo it. And like I said, there is a spatula in here as well that I think could be really cute if you did some like Valentine's Day baking. Super, super sweet. Also, I've talked about these scalloped woven trays quite a bit and have shared them quite a bit on different collages over on Instagram, here on YouTube. But I think that these are a really sweet way, not only for just everyday decorating, scallops are super popular in design right now, but also also to kind of spruce up Valentine's Day decor and even spring decor. I think that these are so, so sweet. These are still in my car. I haven't got them yet, but I definitely think I will get these. I, I really do adore them. And then also if you have a, just like a little catch-all, whether that's in your entry, on your coffee table, on your bedside table, bathroom, you know, wherever. I did find this marble scalloped little catch-all dish that I thought was really pretty that you could swap out your everyday dish for this little dish just for Valentine's in the springtime. I thought that this was so, so sweet. I love this. I do also think that I have in my Amazon storefront a scalloped horn bowl as well. So I will link that down below if that's still available. Also in this collage is, and I think the last thing I will mention is this grapevine garland that is made of hearts, which I thought was really, really sweet. Now I don't do a ton of decorating, especially kind of like for Valentine's day or even spring other than bringing in spring florals and swapping out maybe the, the tiny little details just to make them a little bit more springy. However, I do really like this, especially if you have kids or if we were having family come into town, it's something I would want to do just because I feel like like it's something no, so nostalgic, I think can be fun sometimes and not take design so seriously when you do little things like this. But I did wanna go over a couple of those options in case you you know, are looking for some cute little decor to add to, or like Valentine's Day decor to add to your, you know, your space, whether that's a catch-all bowl, a garland, a tablescape, whatever the case. But I am now going to take everything off my desk and create a really sweet Valentine's Valentine's Day, very romantic Valentine's Day table with you here in this video. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, Zach and I don't really do Valentine's Day gifts per se, but what we do is we make spaghetti. I know that it's really silly. We've been doing it from the beginning and it's just a tradition that we've kept on, but I really do love to put together a sweet little table 
scape that we can enjoy and just celebrate the day together and really just kind of be in that moment. Now we do not have a dining room, dining table. So a lot of the times I will clear off my desk and turn it into a little dining situation for us on special occasions. I am going to put a tablecloth on here because I do think a tablecloth makes it feel a little bit more elevated and elegant, especially for something like Valentine's Day. But look at the, the etched coupe glasses and these sterling jiggers or shot glasses. I'm not really sure. I think they're jiggers up against the wood. Oh my gosh, I would leave it like this. I actually think it's so beautiful. The juxtaposition of the old beat up table that has a lot of patina, super primitive next to the etched glasses and even, oh my gosh. This has got to be one of my favorite combos I have ever found. I am so happy. Also, I normally would pull this table into our kitchen area, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to keep it up against this wall. However, it wouldn't stay like this. I was debating whether to use a linen blank, or a linen blanket, a linen tablecloth or what to do. And then I just thought if this throw blanket that I have that's usually on the back of my chair on the back of my office chair fits this table I'm gonna go for this because it has this like beautiful rose woven detailing that's woven in the tablecloth that I just absolutely adore I am gonna bring in my dinnerware from Amazon. I love these so much. By the way, everything is linked down below if I can link it as always, including my outfit that you saw already. So I'm gonna put these on the table. I always like to start with the plates because then I can kind of see how much room I have to work with. And I, of course, am layering the salad plates. And then I'm gonna add in my new coops. Oh, they're so dainty. I love that. Also, there's a lot of construction going on. If you guys hear that, I am so sorry, but I think I'm going to actually bring out these uh, espresso mugs because I have really been loving to have a little bit of espresso or coffee with my dessert. So although I don't have a water cup out on the table, it's just because I don't like the way that they look. The glass, the cut crystal, or the more crystal glass with some of my other glass is just clashing a little bit. So I would bring those out for dinner, but I'm not gonna do it for the tablescape. But I am kind of loving having the pottery in here. I just think it looks so elegant. It's just absolutely, I don't know. I really like the way it looks. Now we're gonna lay the flatwares. And the most important thing is just to make sure that they line up on either side. I also really need to polish my, my silver really, really bad. And then I'm gonna choose my napkin. So I brought over two sets to choose between. I brought over a regular linen, and then I brought a stripe. I thought the stripe was actually really pretty up against the floral. I don't know, I kind of like it because I was thinking, since we're doing the coffee, I'm over at my coffee bar at the moment, I thought about putting the caviar spoons up top, and that just adds another layer and a little bit of depth. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with the stripe. I think I like the stripe. Okay, was not expecting to go with that. And I kinda like to do the layered look, it feels a little bit more tailored where you have it in between your salad plate and your dinner plate. Just so fun to play, you know? It really is so fun to play. Oh, my plates are not even. <laughs> Let me fix that. This one needs to come down a little bit, there we go. I think all I need is a little bit of floral and some candles. If I had those cute little um, grape vine hearts, that would be a sweet little touch but I don't have those. I'm gonna bring in these flowers from the bathroom. They're kind of on their last leg, but I love these so much. And I feel like they really help this dainty effect that I have going on. Add a couple tapers. I have a couple more florals to add. And then I think that's it. I am so happy with this table. I'm actually pleasantly surprised because I didn't really know where I was going with it, but I love it. All right, and here is my take on a Valentine's Day little table setup. I just pulled things from the house that we had. The only new things that I have are 
the new jiggers or shot glasses and then my new etched coops that I love so much. These florals I pulled out of the bathroom. Those were in the bathroom makeover. I just felt like they were very dainty and delicate. And then the roses, I repurposed these from the little gift basket that I did. And I just pulled the petals back and just made them a little bit more fluffy. I put them in my new apothecary jars that I'm going to eventually turn into spice jars and then the candles are from amazon as i mentioned too we're not going to face the the wall when we sit down to eat i lit the candle so that you could see kind of the full effect and then one other thing i wanted to mention is i love mixing a dainty flower like this centerpiece right here with something that's a little bit more hearty like a rose i feel like having that soft and hard just really matches the same vibe that i have down here with the masculine feminine kind of vibe it's kind of the same when it comes to florals mixing in something very dainty and delicate and fine with something very hearty i like having that mixture but look at this isn't it so sweet i just love it like i said a little bit of a different take but to me this is romantic all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to click the link down below if you want to check out fragrance.com and use my code Brandy to save 30% off up until Valentine's Day. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in a couple days with another. Bye. I would say we were good together.